to. They force me to. No, I'm kidding. This is what I'm. Getting a new bike, a new Harley. People that you follow and you watch, nobody has the bike that I'm going to get. Nobody has the Harley that I'm going to get. So, good morning from the title you already saw. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, huh? Yeah, you know what it's all about. New seat. New seat for the Lowrider ST. Now, let me tell you why and uh, explain how this whole thing evolved and where we stand right now. If you remember a few months ago, let me turn the lights on over here. Remember a few months ago when I got the bike, I switched over to a Mustang seat, a solo seat with a pillion uh, option. <clears throat> wanted the versatility, wanted... Uh, really important for me was for, uh, to be a comfortable seat, a wide seat, and with a backrest. That is very, that was very important for me. So I did that, got that, and rode it for like a year. And it was great, a great. And uh, eventually I switched over to the step up seat by Saddleman because this is a nicer looking, in my opinion, nicer looking uh, seat. Both are comfortable. This is uh, cooler, nicer, and that was kind of an old man, old man's uh, seat. So I switched over to this uh, seat. I love this seat. I broke it in already, and uh, it offers great comfort, lower back as well, and the looks are really, really good. I love, I love the look. Really, the line of the seat complements the lines of the bike. But this whole time, I've been using it for six months, I think, already. I was missing one main thing. I'm used to riding with a backrest. So I was looking and looking for an option for a soft tail with saddlemen to work with a backrest. And this is the option that I just got. I'm going to show you right now. Keep in mind that this uh, switch of the seats has to do with the long trip that I'm planning this summer with John. Around 10, over 10,000 miles, two, three weeks, coast to coast, all around. And I definitely need good, some good uh, back support over there. I need a comfortable seat. So that's the reason why I ordered uh, this uh, Saddleman seat. I'll show you in a second. What it pretty much is, it's uh, the Saddleman Touring. It is the actually the step up in uh, the Touring configuration. I'm not sure exactly what the name is. I'll put it right over here. And uh, the main thing that it has a great backrest and it has also an option for a uh, two up rider. The second, the pillion in the back is going to have a wider, thicker. It's not, I think it's not as cool looking as this seat, but it's going to be great uh, back support. And that's what I'm really looking for. So well, let me take, let me pull the bike out install it and I'll do a walk around and you guys tell me what you think. By the way, this whole video I'm, uh, I'm uh, recording on my uh, Insta360 Ace Pro. I want to give it a try and say what I think. So I'm using it. There's a screen on the top that you flip up and you can see yourself easier. This is a soft, huh? It's supposed to be light. Huh? Let's put the other seat on. There it is. There it is. The Saddleman Step Up Touring with the backrest. Got nowhere. Everything is wet over here. Thank you to Saddleman, by the way. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did send me out this uh, seat for free. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. There's the backrest portion. I got it uh, with this carbon fiber texture so it grips and holds both. Now I need to set this up, obviously, and uh, flip it over. Let me prep this. Thank you. 
old one off. But I'm not sure what wrench it is. Maybe it's a torx on the trip. It's like to prevent the ease of stealing if uh, you're really gonna try and steal my seat. Who steals seats? Never heard of it, but it's a thing, I guess. I was told that in Sturgis that happens, or in Daytona. The other day, I actually got comments from one of you guys that that I got a lot of shit and, and garbage over there. Well, it's only uh, garbage collection tomorrow, so no comments, please. Looks very similar to the previous one. Just a little bit thicker over here. And now for the reason of this change. You ready? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ta -da. Okay. Slips right in, folds for a storage whatever here and it's obviously you can change the angle right here to have it move forward there you go okay let me do a walk around so you see and then we'll take it out for a, a little test ride I like the stitching I like this material in the back grab you here's where it's uh, actually a bit different right this area so it doesn't doesn't drop as much as the other one because it's way more cushioning for this pillion. And over here, as you can see, it actually it's wider over here. So it gives the, the pillion more cushioning for the ride. That's not a feature that I'm gonna be using. As I ride a one-up solo, that's the only seat they have that is close to a solo with a backrest for a soft tail. far for me. I'll bring it in a little bit. Yep. This is how I like it. So it's nice. You can actually change change the position as you're on the go, as you're going. Wonderful. Let's take it out for a ride. What am I wearing now? Obviously, it's 30 degrees. It's it's just freezing. I have my heated gear. Riding uh, with my Kevlar cargo by Beyond Riders. And there's beautiful hoodie, a soft gel hoodie. Everything that I'm wearing is fully lined uh, Kevlar inside. And yeah, why am I telling you this? Because I have to, they forced me to. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is what I'm, a lot of people ask and uh, they're my sponsors as well. My boots are Indie Ridge, by the way. It's a windbreaker completely. No wind goes through. And 100% uh, uh, Kevlar line. Let me start it up. Oh yeah. Now I know. Let's check out this new seat. Okay. Definitely feel the backrest. It's there. It's present. It reminds me to stay up straight, erect. Straight back. That's one of the things that the uh, backrest does. It's not about resting and it just it's a reminder it gives you a little tap in the back to sit up straight and not be slouched you know what I mean well the seat feels stiff as expected obviously but the backrest is there it's somewhat it's somewhat flexible it's not uh, the backrest is not connected to the frame by any means it's connected to the uh, to the seat itself 
so it's not that stiff so it's got somewhat of a flex a little bit flex to it I'm gonna move it forward a little bit so I have it closer to me pulled it in a little bit closer to me now as I'm like right now mid position standing I can feel it I can feel the backrest touching my back which is good tell you I'm enjoying this uh, I'm enjoying the settlement seat obviously it's not broken in it's it's still stiff it's very stiff but I, I missed the backrest so much I had a backrest on my uh, electric ride standard for two years you know it's it's always nice to to be able literally to control I, I felt as if like no hands now but I, I use the backrest as a means of control because uh, it gives you a better connection between you, the rider, and the frame, okay? Additionally, when you're uh, hitting it hard and accelerating fast, the bike is really light and very powerful. You literally feel you're being pulled back, and that gives you some kind of uh, support. Obviously, the, the lumbar area, the, the step up, you know, that the way they're designed holds you in place. But the backrest also keeps your upper body close to the handlebars. If you're not subscribed, I uh, highly recommend you do because uh, the next week or two, actually in the next two weeks, I'm, I'm going to uh, be getting a new bike, a new Harley. It's a surprise. Stick around to see what it is. It's going to be pretty cool. I promise you it's going to be something that nobody uh, in the YouTube sphere has not like the people that you follow and you watch nobody has the bike that I'm gonna get I can promise you that a hundred percent from the people that you're currently watching on YouTube nobody has the bike I'm gonna get nobody has the Harley that I'm gonna get I'll even I'll be more accurate. Nobody has a Harley that I'm going to get. Check in every once in a while to see the updates very soon. And also, this bike is going through a, a very interesting transformation the next month. So what do you say guys? All I'll say is I really enjoyed the backrest finally. I missed you backrest. I really did miss you. Great. Now I'm ready for my 10,000 mile trip around the USA. So that's it guys. Very happy with the new seat. Hank, thank you to Saddleman for uh, helping me out with the seat. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video guys, peace out. Yeah.